going on folks? I'm about to be um, test checking this engine. For some reason, the gauge inside of it, the temperature gauge, keeps going all the way over to the overheated section part. So we're not sure if whether or not the engine is actually overheating or if the actual gauge itself is having a problem. So what I'm going to be doing is actually checking the engine um, using an uh, infrared thermometer pretty much. I'm testing the engine itself to see how hot the engine is getting. Normally your engine will be between something like 195 to about 220, 225. So by using this, I'll be able to tell whether or not the engine is overheating itself. This um, infrared thermometer actually came from Auto Tool, which you can find online to purchase it. It's pretty inexpensive and it actually comes in handy for like multiple uh, different uh, purposes, whether it be to test the temperature of food, to test the temperature of your refrigerator, or also to test the temperature of your vehicle to make sure it's not overheating, or to check and see if you have like a missing spark plug or a spark plug is missing or something like that. So I'm going to be doing right now is go ahead and taking this out and I'm going to be testing the temperature of this engine. The car has been running for maybe about about 30 minutes or something like that to give it time to actually um, get up the temperature. So now I'm going to see So now I'm going to be seeing what actually temperature that the actual car itself is running at. Go ahead and take this out. Now this right here is your actual infrared thermometer right here pretty much. That's going to read it. You don't want to point this at your eyes or anything like that. It can cause damage to your eyes. But what I'm going to be doing is, is taking it. What I'm looking for is a temperature in between 195 and about 225. If it's a little bit higher, it may be okay, but you definitely shouldn't see nothing like 300 or something like that. So it can definitely show that your engine is overheating. So what I'm going to be doing is pointing and shooting. I'm going to be reading in Fahrenheit also. So I'm picking a spot on the engine that's kind of down here where the spark plugs are at. You can see, and I'm just going to shoot it and then measure the engine. See, this engine is actually showing just a little high, showing about 250. So you want to kind of get close to the engine, maybe about a foot away from it pretty much to get an accurate reading on it. So this engine right here is reading around 250. So it's a little high, but it's not like it's extremely high, like in the 300s or something like that, which would tell me that this engine is possibly overheating. All right, folks, once again, this is how you would use an infrared thermometer to check your engine to make sure that it's not overheating. All right, thanks. Please check out our other videos and please subscribe. Thanks.